Well, we're honored to have Bob Schur here from Tyson, and he was with Tyson before Tyson was Tyson, and they were IBP. He tells us he's been with them for 33 years. He started as, and he come up through the ranks like, I like to see him come up through the ranks, and started as an hourly man in the cooler. He said doing about every job there was in, in, the, in the cooler, and also worked on the kill floor, learning how to dress them. He then uh, moved into marketing uh, on the carcass side and uh, spent the last seven years uh, in charge of corporate grading, or seven recent years, and the last 10 months, he's moved over into cattle procurement. Grew up in West Point, Nebraska. Most of you have met Brad Brandenburg, or many of you have anyway. He's been on several of your ranches. Where Brad come up, also been in Tyson for 30 plus years, Tyson IBP, come up through the cattle side. Bob comes up through the beef side and uh, says he's gonna do a uh, work on connecting uh, the cattle with the beef side. So let's welcome Bob. We're honored to have him here tonight. All right, I'm gonna let you guys know my body is conditioned primarily for about 36 degree cooler weather. <laughs> I'm not good with the heat. Um, Jerry wanted me to you know, talk a little bit about relations. Since 2000, mid 2000, I think around 2006, we got involved in the natural programs. Uh, since that time, we've done some marketing changes to better our image out there in the, in the markets. We currently uh, goes under the name of Open Prairie, Open Prairie Natural. We do a CAB product out of there. We do Prime, uh, Choice, Select. I can't tell you, or I'll try to convince you here tonight, um, if you've never had the product, go try it. Since 1981, IBP got into CAB licensing in 92. In about the past three years, I've bought nothing but your guys' home-raised cattle for our products that we produce in the plant in Lexington. There's a reason we say taste the difference. It's noticeable. Uh, what you guys do from the, from the cow-calf all the way through to finishing the cattle to a product we get into the plants it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, year to date, we probably run close to a 94 and a half, maybe with a plus one either side, prime, choice prime, higher grade. Um, they're going to the plant in Lexington, Nebraska. And this plant dresses cattle better than anybody in the United States right now. Uh, we've got competitors out there that don't know how we're doing it, but we're beating people and Nate will share a little bit of that. Uh, anywhere from 1% up to 1.5% dressing yields. Uh, a little bit about our business and with Wolf. This year we're projected to harvest 6.84 million head of cattle as a company. Of that, we've so far done a little over 70,000 naturals. Right now, Wolf represents 19% of that total number. We'd like to see that get to 25 or higher, and that's our whole goal. Um, on the other flip side, the EU cattle or the NHTC cattle that go to Europe, we've harvested a little over 39,500 head this year so far. Wolf represents 27% of that business. And it is, with a shrinking herd, um, and Travis will elaborate on this as well, it's getting tougher and tougher out there to find guys to stick all the way through it. But the guys who do go 52 weeks a year producing cattle for us are the people we want to do business with. Our relationship with, with Jerry and Nate and the entire feeding operation is one of the best. Uh, if Brad Berenberg was here, he would tell you it's number one. That's, I mean, that's the way we feel about it. We find it very important that we have the top-end quality cattle. 
Bob Metzger and myself were talking, we changed a lot of dynamics from what IBP used to buy. Uh, we used to go out, we'd buy commodity cattle. If it meant breaking a market back this way or that way, we'd do it. We don't do that anymore. We're in it for the quality. All of our products all the way through are all about quality and we don't, we don't plan on going back. Some industry changes for us this last year. Um, you know, we quit accepting cattle fed Zomax, which is a beta agonist. Um, and in a year's time since that announcement, we've seen the true genetics of the cattle herd come back. Actually what the cattle are truly capable of making grade wise. Um, as an industry, we're up almost 8% year over year. That's ridiculous. You just don't see that without a major change. And that was a game changer. Uh, more so from an animal welfare standpoint, but most importantly to us, it brought back those borderline cattle. NCBA did an audit, uh, National Quality Audit 2000. And the numbers from that audit would tell you 75% of all the cattle fall into the high-end select and the very low-end choice. So you got about a 40 marbling unit range there. Tracking the Zilpaterol for seven years, which I did, we found it detrimental to grade anywhere from 3% all the way up to almost 29%. That isn't how God created the animal or how it intended it to get to that final finish weight. And it shows right there the difference in a year's time. We value everything Jerry does for us. Uh, it's not very often you get a couple guys come to the corporate office and it's not, like he said, asking us what, what we'll do for them, but what he can do for us. And our whole intent is to grow and grow as big as we can get. Ultimately, we'd like to be three producers in the natural program, three producers in the NHTC program. This guy sitting to my left is one of the top ones. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. I would like to create just a little bit of clarity. First of all, each time a Tyson guy talks, whether it's Brad or Bob, or I even learned more about wolf cattle. I didn't know we were 19 and 27%, so thanks for sharing. <laughs> Thanks for doing that research and sharing that information. Um, but he mentioned Jerry too much. Um, this thing's outgrown Jerry. I mean, it had outgrown. It was bigger than Jerry when I was this high, and it's for sure bigger now. So it's the wolf cattle team. And when we talk wolf cattle, it's you guys out there that are supplying us with calves. I mean, we couldn't. When he talks Jerry and wolf cattle and the cattle supply, it starts on your ranch, you know, when you get them cows pregnant and deliver some calves. We couldn't do what we do with, without you all here. We also couldn't do these program cattle without having a third party verification. 